For my Fixer Upper Kitchen project, I took the walls down to the studs. Just kidding, there are no studs. It's a single wall house in Hawaii. I'm April Nelson, and today I'm gonna to explain the difference between a single wall construction in Hawaii and typical double wall framing. What is a single wall house in Hawaii? Well, let me start with a double wall or a typical framing that you might find on a normal house. So on a normal double wall house, you have an outside wall. Underneath the outside wall, you would have a typical stud framing. And then inside, you have drywall on top of the studs. This is our tree house, but it illustrates pretty well what a typical framing would be. So you can see here the studs and you have the outer wall. And in a normal regular house, you would have drywall across here instead of obviously this climbing wall that we have. A traditional house is gonna have drywall and then an outer wall. And in between, there's studs, which you can kind of see, but it's a great space for plumbing and electrical and insulation, which we don't really have much in Hawaii. Excuse the construction mess, but a single wall house has tongue and groove wood that acts as both the outer wall and the inner wall. And then you'll see on the outside, there's usually a belly band here that kind of holds all of those together. So here you can see the outside of the typical single wall home. Again, it's got that belly band, what they call it. So a piece of wood that goes along the tongue and groove to kind of hold everything together. Here is a half wall that was in the kitchen, but you can see what the inner and outer wall would look like. is just this tongue and groove wood only, not this part here. You might have used a stud finder to find the studs when you're hanging a picture or something heavy on your regular double wall. Well, underneath the drywall, what it's looking for is these. So you would run it along the drywall and it would beep every time that you get to a stud. Stud finder, don't need that on a single wall house. So if you don't have a space between drywall and the outer wall, where do you put your wiring? Here is a clue. So you usually will have wire mold like this and then it's often hidden inside the trim. Here's another example. You can see that the light switch is on the trim, so your wiring is going behind there. And all of the outlets are on the lower trim down here. So you can tell that the wiring is following behind all of that trim. What about plumbing on a single wall house? Well, you're in luck. I have it exposed here. In the bathroom here, there actually is almost like a double wall. So you can see in where the medicine cabinet was, there is a gap between the kitchen walls and the bathroom walls. And that is where they ran the plumbing in this case. Hopefully you can see this. This is the underneath of the bathroom. I have the floor cut away at the moment, but you can see where they almost made it like a double wall. You have two tongue and groove walls where the plumbing comes through and that is the angle stop for the toilet that you see on the right. And then we've also got the vent pipe going up. In the kitchen, the plumbing was hidden underneath the countertop and the cabinets, and so it's coming up straight from underneath. I've got some fixing to do here, but you can get the idea. It's going to be hidden inside the cabinets. So they don't make single wall houses anymore. It was pretty common back many years ago in Hawaii. You can see here these plans were done in the 60s and the house was actually built in 1970. And I'm very lucky to have the original plans. Most of the tongue and groove wood uh, was redwood, as in this case. You can see here the original plans for that single wall home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the chat. Thank you. Aloha.